Hey guys, it's me Charlie. This is an update on my oxalotls. I have a um, wild type of oxalotl here. This is the male. And um, I have a beautiful white one back there with black eyes. And that one's a female. The female is nice and round. She's short. She's chubby. Um, her area down below where she poops at actually is very small. So she doesn't have um, these large bumps like this male does here. In this video, it's not that easy to see that the male has um, testicles, but um, his bumps are much, much bigger than hers, and he's much larger than she is. This male is a wild type, which has got spots all over his body, and he's kind of a golden brown color, and his um, gills are red. The female back there, her eyes are black, she's pure white, and she has the nice red gills. And the male is probably around eight inches long and the female is about probably seven inches and um, they're about a year old now and this is just one breeding pair that I have set up in a 10 gallon fish tank and what I decided to do is just keep it kind of simple it's just got a soft stone back there is actually a snail keeping the glass clean as possible the water's crystal clear even though in this video it doesn't show up that well and the substrate on the bottom is nothing. Uh, at this time, I decided not to have anything because they were going through some um, little kind of scratches on their bodies. And I just wanted to keep them nice and smooth and clean. Later on, I'm going to be putting some large stones like this one here, covering up the bottom so it'll look a little bit more attractive. And then some plastic plants that have large leaves so that way the female can kind of rub her body against it and lay her eggs. So this is just an update on my breeding pair of oxalotls. When the temperature gets a little bit warmer this summer, right now it's June, um, June 3rd, 2011, and it's Friday evening. Um, as soon as it gets a little bit wa warmer, the water will get warmer, and they'll get into a natural warm cycle of just um, kind of going through their mating ritual. So there's some pellets on the bottom that they're actually sucking up every once in a while and eating. Um, these guys, I feed them sometimes uh, real small blood worms. Uh, I'll do some crickets on top of the water. Um, I sometimes give them small earthworms. Um, liver hearts, chicken. Sometimes I'll kind of crush the shrimp. Um, raw shrimp, of course. Uh, what else? I do, of course, some new pellets. What I'm giving these guys is a newt pellet. It's kind of hard to see in the video. It's called newt and salamander bites. Gosh, it seems so blurry in this video. And this is actually kind of small, but they do eat it. I'm going to try to find something a little bit bigger so that way they can just kind of suck it down when it falls on the top of their head. And they're actually just in a 10 gallon aquarium. So I have them on my kitchen countertop. And I have a submersible filter, no heater, and the water temperature is a good good temperature. And uh, I have the fish tank filled just up to maybe um, 80%. And so these guys are happy. The water's crystal clear usually all the time. Um, even though this video it doesn't look like it, but it's very crystal clear. And these guys are real happy. So if anybody has any questions about breeding oxalotls, um, probably the best thing to do is actually give them a lot of food so that way they can kind of get stimulated for breeding. So these guys aren't going to breed right now. Um, so I'm going to start giving them a lot of food so they can do that. But if anybody has any questions on oxalotls, um, how to care for them, take care of them, how to raise them, breed them, the best thing to do is Google it um, or watch other YouTube videos. But um, I can answer the best I can and send you a comment. So... Let me guys let me know what you guys think about oxalotls. Leave me a comment below, and um, let me know what you think about oxalotls in general. All right, guys. See you in the next video. See, she's much smaller. You can kind of see his testicles there. Let's flick that in a way. They're actually big. They are so exotic. <laughs> They never fight, ever.